everybody and welcome to the Scoop with Coop. I'm Coop. How y'all doing out there? To all my Real Housewives of Atlanta fans, how y'all doing? This video is for you. Okay. On, well, as we know, if you haven't seen the commercials yet, Nene is going to be from the Housewives. It's going to be on Celebrity Apprentice. Well, if you've seen the commercials, you see her and Star going back and forth. Well, on the radio today, Ryan Cameron, V103. Woo -woo. <laughs> anyway, um, he reported that Star Jones had to get security because of Mimi. So she was, I guess, that scared of Nene that she had to get security. We all know how Nene gets down. We see her in action on Real Housewives, jumping and lunging at Kim. But that's the only person she do it to. Well, no, she came at Candy, but she never tried to attack her. She choked uh, Kim. And all that good stuff. Well, not good stuff, but so Star had to get security, a bodyguard. I hope she got a big one because Nene ain't no little girl. <laughs> anyway, um, also on Celebrity Apprentice is Latoya, Latoya Jackson and Dionne Ward. And, he, and they said she made Latoya Jackson cry. And she even got in Dionne Warwick's face. So, you know, this is going to be a high rating for um, Celebrity Apprentice. Because, you know, that that was get rating. Uh, foolishness. That's why we tuned into the Real Housewives of Atlanta. To see the foolishness. But, um, what is his name? What's the man's name over Celebrity Apprentice? Donald Trump. He said he feel like this is going to be a good season with the views. And he knows why. Because we do, people want to see drama. And it's going to be drama. Especially with Nene Lee. If she don't like you, you are going to know it. Yes, you will. And on Twitter one time, when her and Kim got into it, um, she called her a big group. Gorilla. <laughs> Nene ain't a little girl. She that's a big woman. So to see somebody like, You got a problem with me? Especially how she was in the white face. He throw ten thousand dollars all in his face. I'd have been like, Oh somebody give me a tranquilizer so I can put this gorilla to sleep. Now nah, that's my girl. Well no, because this season she really got on my nerves. Now the I like the first season, Nene. The second is all right. This season, ooh, I'm Nene Lee. Fox, well, eleven alive news. She's doing her thing. I'm not gonna knock her for that, but she just, she, she, she lets you know, hey, you not finna get over on me. Anyway, well, speaking of Nene Lee. Let's talk about her husband, Greg Lee. Now, um, how can I start this? Okay, we all know Greg and Nene has two kids. Well, Bryson is not Greg, but Brenton is. But comes to find out, Greg Lee has five other children. And um, one of the kids, the oldest son, well, he's the twin. He was on the radio today. B103 again with Ryan Cameron. His name is Damien Lee. I got my little notes here because I took it while they were talking on the radio. So I was like, ooh, this would be a good video. Anyway, his name is Damien Lee. He's 34. And August of last year, he went on his Twitter saying... Oh, y'all, um, I'm going to tell the real story about Greg and Nene Lee 
F this, I'm about to tell it. So he said when he did that, it was just out of anger because he was supposed to come, Greg was supposed to come to one of his grandson's birthday party, but he never showed up. He promised the kid, oh, I'll be, no, not a birthday party, he was supposed to come see him. He promised him, oh, I'll come see you, I'll come see you, and um, never did. So, the son went on Twitter to express his anger, but um, was it all hip-hop or hip-hop weekly, something like that, did an interview with him. Now, when he came on the show, he was talking about pitching a show idea that he wanted to do a show. And everybody was getting on him like, oh, you just want a show. That's why you're telling your story. And you just trying to get money. That's why you're telling your story. And he said, at first, it wasn't like that. He was just angry. So he went on his Twitter. But here's the story that he told. You know, it's his side, Greg's side, and then the truth. So this is his story. Greg and his mom was, I'm going to say it like Mimi. Greg and his mom <laughs> was going through a divorce. And then Mimi stepped in the picture and they really, you know, they got a divorce. So, he said when he was 17, it was packing up a U-Haul. So, he thought they were moving to a new house. So, he went to Mimi's house and packed some of her stuff. He said he dropped them off at a motel, Motel 6 to be exact. And he said, I'm only paying for one night. And left. Really? Okay, so then he goes to say, um, he, uh, he tried to get, wait, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> oh, he was, everybody said, oh, you just coming on here because, you know, because of the show. But he said, no, he's been trying to get in contact with Greg and trying to meet back up with him, trying to bond the family back together before the show even happened. So, people saying that he just did this because they were on the show, he said, no, that is not true. Now, he said um, that Greg has just been treating them wrong. He said he invited them, you know, he invited them off and on to stuff. He invited them to a premiere. I think, I don't know if it was the first or second season of the premiere of The Real Housewives. So him and his brother and their girlfriends or wives, you know, they got new clothes, they got new dresses, they got suits, they got hair done, you know, haircuts, and they was already, they was like, ooh, this, this is like the prom again us because we never been to anything like that. So then he said they went to the premiere and he treated them like, like they weren't his kids. They stood up for, they stood up the whole time they was watching the show, and he didn't introduce them as his children, and he said he spoke to Sheree at the premiere, and she was like, who are you? And he was like, I'm Damian Lee, Greg Lee's son, and she was like, oh, oh, okay, so he said it's not about the money, it's not about a show, he just wants to, um, you know, just get that bond back with his dad. And then, you know, people were calling in, you know, saying they feel like he's just trying to, um, you know, get money because there's a lot of people without their father, me being one of them. Um, and, you know, there's people like that every day, but you don't see them on the radio or whatever. But he has an outlet because... Nene and Greg is on TV. So, of course, people going to want the scoop. People going to want to know the dirt, the real dirt, <laughs> on what's going on. So, Greg called in. And he was like, you know, son, talking like he talked on the show, you know, son, I've been trying to reach out to you. I've been trying to get to you guys. I told you to call me and let me know. And he was like, I've been texting you. I've been wanting to meet up with you, but you never respond. 
So then things really got heated because his youngest of the five kids just, well, turned 21 last year. And he was like, well, what happened to you at Denton's birthday? And he was like, to be honest with you, I forgot. He was like, and he just blew up. He was like, you forgot, you forgot. I had to be the daddy. I had to drop his tears because he was crying, wanting to know where you was at. I was like, oh my gosh, is this really happening on the radio? Are you serious? Are you serious? I felt like I was in the argument because I was, after they finished, I was like, oh, I took me a deep breath. Like, oh my goodness, that just took all the life out of me. <laughs> but, I hope they get things together. I'll pray for them because you can really tell that they're hurt, that he's hurt. I guess he's a spokesperson for the kids, for the rest of the kids. But you can tell he is really hurt. He just want, He just said, I want my dad. All you had to do was come to me and say, Dad, I'm sorry. But Greg did say, you know, I wasn't the perfect father. I was there, but not like I should be. But he was saying, Oh, Pop, this is come. Pop, don't come on here trying to talk all proper like you was doing this, that, and the third when you really wasn't doing nothing. He told, he told it like it was. And Rashawn Ali and Ron Cameron, they was quiet the whole time and just letting them talk and fuss. Well, Greg wasn't fussing. It was more the son. He was, he was pissed. He is pissed. Pit, pit. You know how you be so mad? You yelling at the top of your lung? You just wanna choke the person? That's how pissed he sound. Man, dude was yelling at the top of his lungs on the radio. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. It ain't funny. I feel sorry for him. Again, I um That's my dog. Again, I pray, you know, I'm praying for them that they Resolve all their issues and just get get that bond together. Because from what it sounds like, he just left them out in the cold and was off with his new family. Well, that's the scoop for the video. <laughs> the scoop. The scoop with Coop. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Again, I can't talk. Follow your girl on Twitter. A scoop with coop. And comment, rate, and thank you again. God bless. Bye bye.